Hey, what's up everyone? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about how Russia and Ukraine have come to some kind of agreement about how now Ukraine will be able to ship out the Ukrainians to other countries. Um, and we give my thoughts on this, and also be giving you guys the information about what's going on, so let's get right to it. So it appears that uh, Ukraine and Russia have agreed to sign a deal. Um, this is all what Turkey is saying, because it seems like they're kind of like the go-between right now. Um, so Russia and Ukraine have agreed to sign a deal on Friday to reopen Ukraine's Black Sea ports for grain exports. Um, this is, again, really good because there's been an international food crisis in all countries because of Russia's invasion, um, resulting in Ukraine being unable to move out food. So Ukraine and Russia are both among the world's biggest exporters of food, um, and they haven't confirmed this yet. <clears throat> but a late night video address from uh, President Volodymyr Zelensky hinted that his country's Black Sea ports would soon be unlocked, which is good. I think that uh, if you know anything about my videos, what Russia has done is totally in the wrong they don't have any legitimate claims to ukraine uh if you want to talk about me talk about that with me in the comments down below feel free to uh, i also have some other videos I've, I've talked about it and i'll link those in the top right um but yeah uh, russia is totally in the wrong in this ent entire situation but um, i'm glad that ukraine will finally be able to start exporting food again to people that really need it in other countries so the blockade by Russia's Black Sea fleet has worsened the global supply chain, as everyone knows, uh, resulting in, again, food not being able to be sent out to all these countries that rely on Ukraine and Russia for food, right? So now Russia's just been having kind of a monopoly on that, other than, you know, the fact that a lot of countries have sanctioned them. So U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said Washington would focus on holding Moscow accountable for carrying out the agreement. The United Nations and Turkey have been working for two months to broker what Guterres called a package deal to destroy Ukraine's Black Sea grain exports while facilitating Russian grain and fertilizer shipments. So again, give and take, right? We're allowing Russia to actually export some stuff, it seems like, and get some stuff in, like import and export. But we're also allowing, the really good thing is like Ukraine to get back to exporting grain. So, you see your Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson, Maria, I can't pronounce it, Zakharov? I don't, I don't know said the 27 nation European Union has proposed to ease some earlier sanctions in a bit of, sa of safeguard global food security. So that's, a, yeah, that was my, my expectation of that. Um, you know, give a little bit here, take a little bit there. Um, don't let Russia get off on everything that they've done, obviously, but allow the world to start to go back to somewhat of a normalcy from the, uh, the Ukraine uh, grain shortages that they've been experiencing. So Kiev hopes that Western weapons, especially longer range missiles such as US high mobility, artillery rock systems will allow it to counterattack and recapture Eastern Southern territories that it lost in the region. Uh, last I checked, uh, Russia had lost some of the territory that it had gotten, but again, Ukraine still doesn't have all of their territory back. Uh, I hope that they do eventually get that back. And I think that right now with the uh, other countries that have been helping Ukraine is a good thing. Because, again, we can't let Russia just get away with stuff like this. This is all happening, obviously, because R Russia doesn't want Ukraine to get any more close to Western countries because they're worried about Ukraine joining NATO. And in doing so, now Finland and Sweden have been wanting to join NATO. Uh, it seems that they will be allowed to. And we also, it's very obvious that Russia sees NATO as a threat, even though NATO and Russia, if, if they end up, if, if Russia attacks a NATO country, it's it's not going to be pretty, and Russia is not going to do that unless they feel like they're back in the corner. But again, Ukraine, you, you, just because Russia is worried about NATO, doesn't mean that they can take over the sovereignty of another country. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work like that. Um, let me know what you guys think about that down below. Do you think Russia is in the right, uh, or Ukraine's in the right? I side with Ukraine in this. I think that um, anyone that again, I, there's a lot of things I have I, I know about the Ukraine situation, um, and I, I don't. If I was to talk about all of them, this video would be, like, super long, so I'm not going to. But um, I am glad that it seems like Ukraine is making uh, some strides in getting back their territory, as I think they should, and I hope that they do. So, again, let me know what you guys think about this down below. Do you think that uh, it's a good thing that Ukraine is finally able to export grains again? And do you, when do you think that the Ukraine-Russia war will eventually end? Do you think that you, it's going to happen in, in a year, less than a year, more than a year? I, I guess I'm, I'm just not sure. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinions and what you guys think down below. So let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. I love you all so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody. Peace, peace.